Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create a political flyer with PowerPoint. The steps used are very simple and comprehensible. Stay tuned, it's coming up. First, we will set up our page. To do this select design, click on slide size. We need a 6 by 6 inches page and so we will make our own custom size. 6 inches is equivalent to 15.24 centimeters as it has been inserted. When done, press OK. Now our design page is ready for action. We would insert a background. Go to insert, select pictures and then select your background. Reduce the size to fit half of the slide. Pick your rectangular tool and draw a rectangle over the background. Go to Format, select Shape Fill and give it a dark fill with no outline. Now, reduce transparency to 35%. Click the circle or ellipse tool and draw an oval. We will make a spherical design with this. Watch this carefully. Rotate the circle a bit and copy it. Let's remove the surplus part of the oval to make it fit the slide. To do this, pick the rectangular tool and draw a rectangle at the surplus portions. Now, first, select the oval and select the drawn rectangle while pressing the control button to select both figures. Under Format go to Merge Shapes and select Subtract. Do the same for the other side of the oval shape. Now paste the oval shape that we copied and position it like this on the slide. First, select the shape beneath and then the shape above while pressing the control key to select both figures. Under Format go to Merge Shapes and select Subtract. Now position it very well. Apply rectangles to remove surplus parts of the shape as we did earlier. Give the shape no outline and give it a nice color like this. Now let us insert a picture. Go to Insert, select Pictures and bring in your image. Position it very well on the slide. Now while pressing Ctrl, select both the image and the bottom shape and copy them. Press Ctrl M to open a new slide and paste them there. We want the picture to blend with the bottom shape. While pressing on the Ctrl key, select the picture and also the shape. Under Format go to Merge Shapes and select Fragment. Now zoom in and delete the unwanted portion. Copy the image. Now delete the first image and insert the copied image. Bring in the rectangle to remove the surplus part of the image. Now look at the before and after, that's very good. If you have an image with a solid background like this don't worry you can remove the background with just one click using a website, remove.bg. I have made a tutorial on how to remove the background from the site, check the video's description for a link to that video. Select the rounded rectangle tool and draw a rounded rectangle. Pull the yellow dot at the edge to make the rounded ends very spherical. Then position it well and give it a white fill and no outline. Now let us bring in our logos. Position them very well on the rounded rectangle and make a few adjustments to make it look better. 
Now while pressing the control key select all and use the shortcut control G to group them for easy movement. Select the text tool and let's put in some text. Let's use a font called Bungie and place in our text. Give the first line a white font and the second a yellow font color. Select both the logo and the text, right click and group them. Let's bring in another image. We only need the top image and so we have to crop out the image below. Add another text box and the font Nosifer. Type in your words and give it the same color as the image by using the eyedropper tool and giving it a white outline. Position it very well. Insert another text, using the same font, type in your words. Give it a yellow font and a white outline. Position it very well. Again, add another text box type in your words and use the font Rubik Mono 1, position it very well and give it a white font. Make a duplicate of the text and type in your words. Bring in another text box and type in your words give it a suitable font and a good font color. Duplicate the text and type in your words. Give it a suitable font and position it very well. Once again, bring in another text box and type your words. Position it very well. Add another text box and type in your words, give it a suitable font and position it well. Duplicate the text box and paste into your words. Give it a suitable font, position it very well and give it a nice font color. Draw another text box and type in your words. Position it very well and give it a nice font color. Add another text box beneath it and paste into your words. Give it a suitable font and a good font color.
Now, move to the slide below and draw a few rectangles and position them very well. Copy hashtag 2 and paste it as an image in the first rectangle. Select the second rectangle and fill it with an image. Crop the image to make it more visible and position it very well. Select the third rectangle and fill it with an image. While pressing on the control key, select all the rectangles and group them. Copy them and paste them as an image on the first slide. Reduce its size and position it very well. Now select the freeform tool and make some paths as you see on the screen. Once you have your shape add some rectangles to remove the surplus parts. Position it very well, give it a nice shape fill and no outline. Bring in another text box and place it on the shape below the slide. Paste in your words, and give it a suitable font and a good font color. Finally, bring in another text box and type in your words, give it a suitable font. Now that is good. The design is complete. Over here on this channel, we do stuff like this and if it's something you are interested kindly consider subscribing. Check the video's description for the various shortcuts and fonts used. You can download all the fonts from googlefonts.com and they are free. Check my PowerPoint playlist and check other PowerPoint designs. Kindly like the video and share it as well. Share your ideas and suggestions in the comments section, thanks. Blenzo, easy made easier.